Hello and welcome to The Point from Navitend. In this issue, we'll look at creating a sub-site in Microsoft SharePoint 2010. Using Microsoft SharePoint 2010 can be a little confusing at first. The interface takes getting used to. A site in SharePoint is the highest level organizational unit. Every other SharePoint element exists within a specific and individual site. Each SharePoint site exists under the main SharePoint site. For example, as a services organization, it may be advantageous to create a sub-site for each division within the organization. It's important to note that there is virtually no limit to the amount of subsites that can be created, and a subsite can have its own subsites. Follow along with the steps below to learn how to create a subsite. First, log in to your SharePoint as a user with administrative privileges. I've logged in here as you can see. Select Site Actions from the upper left corner of the screen. Select New Site from the drop down that appears. This step deserves some extra explanation. On the pop-up dialog that appears, you will be prompted to select the site template you wish to apply to the new site. It's important to note that a new SharePoint site will be created from a template that contains a specific set of SharePoint elements already configured for use on the site. However, any site can be configured after it is created to contain the desired elements. For this reason, unless you know exactly which element each template contains, it makes little difference which template is selected on this screen. For the purpose of this guide, make sure that the Express Team Site template is selected. Enter a title for the new set. The URL step also uh, deserves a little bit of explanation. The site URL cannot be edited once the site has been created, so be extra careful when choosing a URL. The URL will automatically be suggested for you based on the title you enter. When you've finished reviewing the URL for the site, click Create. I'm going to modify the URL and make it phase one and then click create. SharePoint will say that it's processing. When it's finished creating the site, you'll be brought to the site that you've just created. We're now at the point test site that I've created. With that, we reach the conclusion of this episode of The Point. You can watch previous issues at our website, navitin.com. Thanks and have a great week.